welcome to the Mind of Business Success Podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Kramer. Our guest today is Catherine Ford from the Excellence Institute, and we are going to talk about empowering women. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. You are a woman on a mission, and you are helping women create so much more in their lives in all ways. So let's start by talking a little bit about who's Catherine and what are you doing in your business? All right. Great. I am so passionate about what I do. So thank you for asking. I literally design incredible next chapters for women who are ready to make the rest of their life the best of their life. And it's all based on my own story. I have completely transformed my own life, going from one of tragedy to triumph. And I'm so proud to be able to help so many women in the world completely do the same thing in their life. So my own journey began uh, 33 years ago when I was 26 years old, busy climbing the corporate ladder. So I'll give you a little idea of who Catherine was at that time, a long time ago. So professionally, I was thriving, loving my work in the world. I was a human resource executive for a major corporation. Personally, however, I was highly impoverished. I was a couple of years into a highly toxic marriage. That marriage literally would end in a gun incident decades later. So there was a lot of um, emotional abuse. My then husband had issues with rage in our home and he had some untreated mental health challenges. So I finally was able to successfully get out of that marriage, finally, Um, but it took a toll on my health as well. So as a young woman, 26 years old, going back to that state in my life, I was driving home from work one day, had a really bad headache, didn't think much of it, thought, oh, I'm very driven. So I thought, oh, I can push through this. I'll take a couple aspirin. I went to bed and I would end up going blind in my left eye. So you can imagine I was in shock and devastated. I happened to be living in Minnesota at the time. So I thought I've got to have the experts take a look at me. I went to Mayo Clinic. They ran all kinds of tests and said, we are so sorry to have to tell you this, but you have MS. And literally I said, I have what? And they said, yeah, you have MS. And then the nurses came in to really from a place of love, tell me and prepare me for all of the really scary things that they said were likely to happen to me. And thank goodness I had the presence of mind at that age to say, no, no, that is not gonna happen to me. I'm, I'm not signing up for that. I am gonna be a medical miracle. I don't know how, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm a researcher by nature. I set out to research what in the world is happening where people are faced with extreme challenges, yet they're still thriving. What's going on? What's out there? And in the mid nineties, I ran across Dr. Bernie Siegel. He's still considered to be an expert in the world on the mind body connection. And I knew I struck gold. So I devoured his books, all of his materials, and I developed tools to help myself. And I was actually doing very, very well, which was surprising to my doctors. Now, 22 years later, after that initial diagnosis, when I was 26 years old, 22 years later, I got another shock that I was actually misdiagnosed. So you can imagine here I'm 22 years, my, my, basically my whole adult life. I thought I had MS. I was being treated for MS. And actually every other day I was taking um, 16 of those years, over 16 years, I was taking an every other day injection of a chemotherapy drug for MS. It basically felt like I had the flu, but I was also doing all my mind body connection, inner world practices. And I just, I believed in those injections. So anyway, the doctors said, you have something far worse than MS. I thought, what could be worse? And they said, it's called neuromyelitis optica or NMO. Oh my gosh, devastation. Again, I was like, how can this be happening to me? And uh, then I'm a researcher. I found out at Mayo Clinic now 22 years later, there's an expert in the world practicing on this really rare condition. Went down to Mayo, made an appointment with him. He walked in the room. He turned around to walk out and he looked at me in the doorway and he said, are you Catherine Ford? And I said, yes. And he said, oh my God, you don't even look like someone 
who's had MS for 22 years, let alone this worse condition. I want to know exactly what you're doing. So I basically told him everything I was doing. It was all inner work, right? And um, mindset and really figuring out how to get this deep belief that I was vibrant health, even though, especially at the beginning, I was living in a very sick body. And he said, oh my gosh, this is brilliant because everyone in the world has some sort of dis-ease. Yours already happens to have cellularized in your body. Other people can't seem to find the love of their life. It's time to uncouple. There's an awful lot of that going on right now in the world. Or you, uh, people just can't find the time and money freedom piece, right? And he said, you've got to get this out into the world. And I looked at him. I said, what are you talking about? I literally said that to him. But he said, you've got to get this out into the world. And I said, well, li literally, doctor, I've just been trying to save myself. I haven't thought about anyone, but just trying to save myself. And he said, well, you better start because this is extraordinary. What you are doing is miraculous. So he was really the first one to, uh, to get me out there. And um, I started thinking about it and I thought, you know what? Yes, I am going to take what has been given to me and what I have been able to transform and help so many other women in the world. And I knew in my own heart, when I was 26 years old, I knew, I, I knew I was meant for more. I knew it deep down in my heart. I knew this wasn't what I was supposed to do in my life was just to be living in a very sick body. And, and that was the end of my story. So hence my program now is called meant for more. There are nuggets of gold in your story. And I want to highlight some of them because okay this is transformational stuff we're talking about here. Everyone, men and women alike, I think probably the majority of the people alive on this planet are not truly fulfilled. Exactly. And you mentioned dis-ease and the way that that manifests in our physical body when we're not doing our inner work to change our mindset and to point ourselves in the right direction with the right thoughts and the right actions, the right behaviors. So when you're working with your clients, usually they're probably coming to you when they just have had enough, right? Mm -hmm that's the way that typically we seem to, to function. It's like, we wait until it gets so bad before we finally will step up and say, I need help. But now when you take that step and you made a statement, another one of your little golden nuggets that you shared was you said no to that not necessarily the diagnosis, but the future that they were they were setting for you. Mm -hmm. And yes. that decision is a powerful one. And all of our transformation always starts with that really strong inner decision. So as you're working with your clients, I'd love to talk a little bit more about some of those mindset transitions that they have to go through to start to break free from that old mental conditioning, that old mindset that created the problem that they now have, how do you transition them from that place to where they're creating those types of breakthroughs in their life? And they're now starting to create the things in their life that really, truly make their heart happy. Such a great question. I begin with each client on developing something that I, I used for myself way back when. And, and as I got into this work with other women, I decided to call it your personal passion prescription. So what that is, is I help you open up your imagination. I help you dial up your imagination, stretch that muscle, right? Because when we were little girls, I know you have a little girl, she's so adorable. You know, there, oh gosh, we can be anything we want any day of the week, right? One day we're a ballerina, then we're a teacher, then we're a scientist, then we're an astronaut. We can just do all these things. And then 
we start to lose that gift as we grow older. So I help women get back into that. And we look at each category of their life, their health and well-being, and their ability to maintain youthfulness, which is so interesting because this work I do also affects your ability to maintain youthfulness because we have the mind-body connection. And our thoughts generate feelings, which lead to actions, and then ultimately the results we get. But when you're feeling happy and joyful and you're thriving and you're living literally the life of your dreams in every category of your life, your inner pharmacy is kicking out beautiful sparkling chemicals, right? On the other hand, if you're frustrated, if you feel like I, I just, I haven't been able to find what I'm passionate about, or I'm in this toxic relationship and I, I don't see any way out, which was my situation or whatever, or gosh, I'm longing to find the love of my life. I've, I've never felt real, true love, right? Or I can't seem to make ends meet or I'm working all the time. I have plenty of financial flow, but I have no time to enjoy it. Whatever it is, if we're frustrated, it's too much cortisol and other, other chemicals and hormones like that, that we're not meant to be in our body over time, a, long, a, a, lot, of, a lot of that and over long periods of time. So it's very aging. So we look at that category of your life. Usually, mm, I mean, I've had women say other, other people in their life notice something about them that's different as far as how they appear within the first couple of weeks, for sure, after the first month. I actually had a, a woman whose husband was on a business trip and he came back two weeks later and thought she had some work done. <laughs> and she said, no, no, I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm excited about my next chapter that I'm creating, right? And he didn't believe her for a while. So we look at that, that health and well-being and maintaining youthfulness category. We look at your relationships. Really dial that up. What would you love? I take you far beyond what you thought was possible or, or could even dream of. My clients need a telescope to look back to see how far they've come. And I am so proud of that because it's so much fun. There's nothing that lights me up more than when a woman's life takes off. And she's got that love in her life, that true lasting love. She's successfully uncoupled if that's part of it. Um, and then of course we take a look at, at that last time and money freedom category and making sure that she has found her passion, that she, is really living and, and truly living every day and that she is creating a successful walk through life. So that's the first thing I do. And the key to that is because once I can have you open up to the possibilities, it changes everything. When you see that there really is more out there and then I help you get there as quickly as possible. Love that. So anyone listening right now, man or woman, can see the value in doing this type of work. Nothing is going to change if we don't make the changes. There are a lot of business people that are listening to this podcast, and we are usually talking predominantly about business related topics. But when we are not healthy and balanced in any area of our life, it is going to adversely affect our business. Absolutely. And I always say there's, there's so much crossover. There's so much entanglement in all areas of our life. Definitely. I love to talk a little bit about you as the business owner for a moment. So you've been in business for a while now and you work with obviously um, women, predominantly women, mm -hmm. um, but you've got a lot of really cool stuff going on in your business. So I'd love to extract that part of Catherine out for a moment and let's talk business Okay. Let's talk about <laughs> some of the, the cool things that you have going on um, that are not just marketing vehicles, but just unique elements of your business model. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to start by saying one of the things I work with my clients on is releasing all acquired limitation. And as a businesswoman, I had acquired a lot of limitation, actually. I had 
um, you know, some medical professionals early on, as I shared, that said, you know, this is all going to happen to you. Get ready. And a, a career? Remember, I'm a very driven person. Oh, probably not going to happen. Like, you should think about exiting. That just devastated me because I was thinking, no, no, I had all these hopes and dreams, right? So I, I had to release that. I also had a belief that that stemmed back from the family I grew up in, um, that thankfully we were told you can be, do, or have whatever you would love. However, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. You're going to be working all the time, right? So at a certain age, I, I looked around and I, I thought, you know, there's a lot of people that really are doing quite well and are highly successful. And they're not, they're not working 70 hours, 60, 70 hours a week like I am, right? What's going on here? <laughs> so I started to unpack that and I realized it was my own belief system. So one of the things I love doing is helping others up-level their self-worth, release limiting beliefs, and all of those things, because they're, our subconscious is quietly controlling every area of our life, very quietly. And when it speaks to us, it speaks to us in, in practicality, practicality. So we think, oh, well, that, that makes sense. You know? um, so as a businesswoman, that was the first thing I needed to do. I needed to, to really check in with myself and discover those limiting beliefs that I had and open up to the acres of diamonds that we are all standing on. I was standing on them myself. So I had to learn how to work smarter rather than harder, which is a big thing that I, I work with my clients on. So you can see this, this whole business journey for me, I also transfer into the clients I work with, especially when their major initiative is in that area of the successful walk through life, their time and money freedom. Um, if they're a business owner, all of that, I love dialing that up because I'll tell you, it's a game changer when they increase their financial flow and they're spending less time at, at their business or on their business. So that was a big part for me that I needed to get my arms around. And so as I was able to do that, more things came into my business. Um, you know, just the world will reflect it through awards um, and things like that. But also I was able to up-level what I did and do for my clients, different retreats, masterminds, uh, women crave connection. And so we have an amazing group at Meant For More. It's uh, just incredible sisterhood of women all supporting women um, through cheering them on through all, all different ways of support that that I just love so it, through my own up leveling it has allowed me to open up to bringing in new ways that I've structured uh, excellence institute and last year was another new way for me um, to adopt uh, and, and I birthed Ford consulting and that is a completely private program I work with some celebrities and other uh, women who prefer to remain completely anonymous and I love that work that I do too That's so awesome. I'm growing right <laughs> along with my clients <laughs> yes and we we need to because otherwise our clients will outgrow us and, um, you know, we all in our own leadership position, whether you are the CEO of your company, you are a solo um, practitioner with maybe just a, an assistant, uh, we have to be the leader. And there is a mindset and an, an energy that we need to embody in order to keep raising the bar it's inner growth as well as outer growth mm -hmm. and i think the key is to remember what i said earlier thoughts generate feelings right which lead to the actions we take so as you're up leveling your self-worth as you're as you're doing that your your feelings are changing Right. And I always speak to my clients also about being the woman who I do the same thing, being the woman who already is at that next level. I'm going to be thinking differently. I'm going to be taking different action then. And my results are going to be completely different as well. Powerful mindset tip right there, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we do, you know, in hypnosis. That is a technique that is often used in hypnosis. You visualize, imagine, you feel as though 
it is already done. You're living it. That's how I've created some of the coolest things in my life. You've got to put yourself in that place. You embody that you begin to develop that mindset. And a lot of people don't realize that anything that you have not achieved yet is an unknown in your subconscious mind. So you have to create these new knowns in your mind. What better way to do that than to begin in the mind first, you're creating all of these new neural networks and neural pathways to this new state of being this new thing that you're creating so that when you're inspired now to take those actions, because that action is aligned with your beliefs and your expectations and your mindset. Now your mind, your subconscious mind is actually supporting you instead of working against you. Yes. And we all, I love science because it proves if anybody thinks this is too woo woo, that's why I love to bring the science in. And we have something in our brain called the reticular activating system. It's at the base of our, the brainstem. And it literally is the part of our brain that we tell the world what to look, we tell ourselves what to look for in the world, right? So the best example is if I say, I want to go out and I want to buy a a white Porsche. Um, I want to, whatever, 911. All of a sudden, I start seeing them everywhere. And I think, oh my gosh, everyone has one. No, those were there already. It's just my brain wasn't looking for them, right? And that reticular activating system is really important because we have overload of stimuli. So it needs to, you know, like right now outside my office, there's, there are workers um, doing something. And, and so that I could really focus on my interview with you and not listen to what they're doing. It, my, my brain is, is saying that, let that go. And you're here, right? You're focused here. And so it does, it serves us well, but we can use that and that knowledge and that it's a tool that we have to tell ourselves what's next for us and then let our brain go out and scan for it. So for instance, I do this um, celebrity series. It's called champagne and chic celebrity series. It's something I added last year which is so much fun. And my first guest was Suzanne Summers. I had never done this before. I had no idea what celebrity, you know, I, I should uh, come, invite in and all of that. And I meditated on it. She came to me because I love, she's all about health and, and well-being. And so I literally visualized and used all my tools beyond visualization. It goes pretty deep, but just for the, you know, back to that we're here today just kind of an overview I, I did all of my work in inner work and literally saw myself right over there in that interview and I will tell you the day that it happened it was exactly like I had envisioned it in my mind in fact I even remember I told you how I love to stretch people's imagination muscles I even said to myself she's gonna stay after we cut the camera she's gonna stay with me for a while like we're really gonna, we're really gonna bond because I really love her. And you know what? She's gonna connect with me too. She ended up staying 20 minutes after the interview. So I, I thought just to have fun and play with it, even do that in your life. Go ahead and set whatever you would love to come in and then stretch it and go and what else? What else could also happen that would be really exciting? So I love so doing fun. that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and business should be fun. Exactly. We have a tendency. I'm, I'm guilty of this more in the past. I've recovered, uh, I think for the most part. <laughs> um, but we do have a tendency to take things very seriously mm-hmm. and we're sort of trained that way. Our societal conditioning, right? Business people are stuffy and they're serious and they always are working really hard. And, you know, there are these, these beliefs that we accumulate that then shape how we behave and the person that we become, it doesn't have to be that way. I always say, if it's not a law of the universe, then it's just a belief and beliefs can be changed. So you've got to challenge everything. Everything. Yes. And I love the the famous Wayne Dyer quote, when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. So I always tell my clients, if something shows up that you're like, ah, disappointed or it's upsetting or whatever, just remind yourself, you know what? 
that's because there's something better for me. I'm not that, that wasn't enough for me. Cause we tend to put caps on things and we say, oh, if this thing would happen, oh my gosh, that would be so great. And then it doesn't happen. And our mind wants to take us back and take us down. I say, no, go the other way. Say, oh, that wasn't enough for me. There's even more out there. How can I dial that up? And I will tell you nine times out of 10, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get that greater thing. I love that. All right, Catherine, how can our listeners connect with you? Okay. They can find me at excellenceinstitute.com. And if they're interested in speaking with me, they just can go to write, go to the application, fill that out. And uh, we'll set up an appointment to meet with me. I'd love, I'd love to meet with anyone who's interested. Perfect. Just to explore. Mm-hmm. This has been a fantastic conversation. Lots of fun. You know, we're talking about some of my favorite topics. So, you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> uh, but you have such great energy and you bring so much knowledge and skill. Uh, I really highly encourage anyone who has resonated with this conversation to reach out to you. And I would love to give you an opportunity to share any final parting thoughts as we close out our segment for today. Thank you. Thank you. This has been wonderful. I've loved my time with you. I just want everyone listening right now to know that no matter what has happened to you in your past, or no matter what you are currently facing, everyone can live a life of excellence. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's important that you find the right support, find someone who has done it for themselves and who has a track record, whoever that is in the world. Don't try to do it alone. I I tried that. It's so much faster. And time is the only thing on the planet that we have a finite amount of. Every one of us has an expiration date. And I love to say, we can always find more money. We We can always get more money but there's no one who can buy more time. So find the support that you need, go quickly because time is waiting, you know, your life is waiting. So good. Thank you so much, Catherine. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you to all of our guests. You know, we're doing this for you. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. And until next time, we will see you in the next episode.